everyone! In today's video, I want to see how good the Sony a7 IV is for vlogging. So this entire video is being filmed on the Sony a7 IV, including this first clip here. I've just got the camera on a little Joby tripod. So the majority of this video is being filmed in 4K 25p, and I will include some shots here and there that are in 50p as well in slow-mo. And I've got it set to cine tone at the moment, and the lens I'm using is the G 20mm f1.8. This is our lunch for today. I got a pumpkin salad with some walnuts and stuff. I still need to put the pumpkin in here. It's in a separate container. What did you get? Dan got a bowl of stuff. It looks really good. I wanted to take a picture of him with my film camera. I um, started a little series where I take a 35mm point and shoot photo of something and then I take the same photo on a phone. Uh, for reasons. <laughs> Probably can't see it on the 20 millimeter, but just there, the moon is poking out. Hello. <laughs> In between the trees. So Dan is very graciously setting up my tripod for me. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> my hands are tied with you guys. All right, we're all set up. So this is my 200 to 600 F 5.6 to 6.3. Yes, that's the one. And I thought I'd bring you guys along because we came out to the forest here to do some moon photography and also some wildlife photography as well. So I thought that would be fun to share with you all. So I'm shooting on my second Sony a7 IV camera body. This is a shot we have right now of the moon and I'm just going to snap off a few photos. I've also got the camera on a two second timer as well. I have a remote, but I didn't bring it. Can you grab them? Yeah, I could. I feel like these shots here look okay, but the silhouette of the tree just looks a bit blobby. <laughs> okay, I think this shot is better. The only thing, and I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see, is that I wish the sun wasn't pointing at the tree. I would have preferred if the tree looks like a silhouette instead. But this is what we're getting. Okay, I'm happy. Oh, let me try the other side of the tree. Do you think we should take a pine cone back for, for Evie and Olive? Oh, I'm in 50p. I don't like this new lipstick. Too bright. Also, I'm in 50p, whoops. <laughs> so they stopped selling my lipstick that I like so much and I bought another one. It looked like it was a similar shade. But it's just way too red. First world problems. What do you think of my hat? <laughs> I need to start wearing a hat more often to protect my head when I'm outdoors shooting because the sun in Australia is super strong. But I don't know, I feel like it, it looks weird. I don't know. Wow. Okay, so we stopped here because we just saw a whole bunch of monarch butterflies just flying around and I guess we'll take turns trying to get photos. There's garlic and murder required. Oh, <gasps> wow. But what you, that's a close-up shot. Oh, that zoomed in. That was zoomed in. Okay, wait, if I stand here, I wonder if you could see butterflies. Oh, look, look, look. There's heaps like in this tree. All right, I'm gonna switch you over to slow-mo and try and get some video of butter <gasps> with, oh, okay, stop talking. <laughs> incredible thing I've ever seen. I've never seen so many butterflies in like one little spot before. Oh, it's so cool. But yeah, so we've got the camera set up right here and we're getting a mixture of both, oh sorry, portrait and landscape shots because why not? I feel like, I don't know, portrait shots are becoming more important with video because of TikTok and Reels. It's crazy. But yeah, this is on the A7 IV and all the butterflies are in that tree over there and also in that tree back there too but i prefer this one because we've got the sun hitting it so we're getting some really beautiful backlit shots and let me tell you this is where crop frame doing slow-mo on the a7 IV is coming in very handy <laughs> so we can get just a little bit of extra reach in our shots as well but yeah we got some incredible close-ups and now we're getting some further away shots as well now we're back in on close we're back in on close okay 
Wow, that looks so cool. And I was telling Dan, oops. I was telling Dan, I'm happy to stay here until the sun goes away because I've never seen this in real life before in my entire life. This is so cool. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Where are you going? I just set up a shot. <laughs> I was hoping I could get a Oh. Sorry. <laughs> two for two. Every time I set up the shot, he walks away. All right, you gonna stay here this time? Probably not. Oh, I see a good one there. I've got such a cool shot there. This is so cool, I'm so happy. So a vlog would not be complete without showing you a little bit of Olive and we have Evie who's in the garage sleeping. Also, we absolutely destroyed the car yesterday and we need to wash it. Hey everyone, here with Dan behind me and we are walking up to a hill. This is a different day. I wanted to vlog a little bit at like blue hour and nighttime-ish as well to show you what that footage looks like. It's time for me to buy a new Joby and keep one. Okay. <laughs> Dan's got the two to 600. It's a trio, the vlogging camera and the two to 600. Okay. A trio, <laughs> a duo. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, so it's time for me to buy a second Jovi and keep it in the car because I forgot it. So I'm just holding on to the camera at the moment. The big guns. <laughs> Dan, in my shot, the moon looks like a speck. What does it look like for you? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that comparison. So we made it to the top of the hill. Now we're going to wait for the sun to go. It's just gone behind some clouds. <laughs> I'm hoping we'll have a good sunset today because there's really wispy clouds in the sky. So I'm hoping the sun will light them up. I was going to tell you before, but I forgot about my film camera that I got. I ended up getting the Olympus Mu 2. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's just a little point and shoot 35 mil camera. And at the moment, I have some Fujifilm Superior 400 film in there. This is so weird. You can't tell like what's mountain, what's cloud. Like it looks so strange. Just getting some landscape shots while waiting for it to get dark. I can start, the lights are coming on, like the street lights and stuff. So hopefully we'll get a good shot here. Okay, we're getting into blue hour now. I'm at ISO 320. If I face this way get a little bit more light on my face. I wonder if you could see the lights in the background actually because everyone's got their lights on now. A little bit. The 20 is just so wide angle like the background is just disappears. <laughs> How good is the shortcut? I love it. Guess what camera doesn't have it? I know, we've got a shortcut set up in the function menu where you can change between 50 and 25p really easily. And then Dan was like, oh, I'll do that on my A7S III. And, and I was um, like, why haven't I done this on my A7S III? Oh yeah, because it doesn't exist. Because it doesn't exist. Just like all the things don't exist Ooh, on a video camera. Can that you see the moon? Oh, look at the moon. Look at the moon. Oh, I can probably bump it up a little bit more. Let's just try 3200. You're at F2. Oh. That's Oh, okay. Well, no, but that's helping with the low light. So I'll just like pan the camera around a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Damn. Nice moon shot. Oh my God. My ankles are so itchy. I think I've been getting bitten. Do we need more? Do you guys want more? Oh, 6,400. So that's what that looks like. <laughs> Might be a bit bright. Oh no, it's still nice this way as well. Okay, so we've hit ISO 6400. <laughs> so that's what that footage looks like here with Cinetone. Uh, ungraded, I'm gonna leave it ungraded so you can see just what it looks like straight out of camera. And we are walking back. I don't have the steadiest hands when I'm vlogging, by the way, and I also forgot my Joby. <laughs> I wanna see like the lights. Cool, sideways. <laughs> but I hope you found today's video helpful and enjoyed seeing all the different clips filmed on the a7 IV and some photos as well. Let me know if you wanna see more vlogs or if you wanna see anything else in particular with the a7 IV as well, cause I'd be happy to shoot something. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single week. So I'll see you all next time, bye.